everybody and welcome back to Kids Home. I do hope you have had a fabulous Easter holidays, whatever you have been doing, and you've been keeping busy, being outside, seeing friends, seeing family. How many Easter eggs did you get? I wonder how many you got. I didn't actually get a Easter egg because they had all sold out. So I got a chocolate orange covered in more chocolate, which was very yummy. And we have eaten one of them so far. When I say we, I mean Josh. Um, but mine is still in the fridge. But I hope you have had a fabulous Easter break. Well, I think it is time to start with some worship, isn't it? And it was so great last Friday on Good Friday to be worshipping in the building with you. But whilst we can't be in the building every week, then it is also great to worship online together as well, isn't it? So let's stand up and join in with the Action Angels. Well, well done for worshipping along with us. And it's just that reminder that it is so good to worship in the building together, isn't it? And next week on Sunday the 18th, then we will be back in the building for our live four o'clock service and you can sign up online. It will be great to really have as many people as we can whilst it's still COVID secure and everything is really, really safe. We would love to have you join us. Well, today we are starting a brand new series, and this series is called How to Be a Superhero. I wonder what your favourite superhero is. Is it Captain America? Is it Spider-Man? Superman? Superwoman? Um, super someone? I don't know. But let me know. Who is your favourite superhero? Because today, 
And for the next 10 weeks, we are going to be thinking about what does it mean to be a superhero for God? And what characteristics do we need? And so, of course, we need a new memory verse, don't we? And this memory verse, I can guarantee you are all going to get and you are all going to do really, really well. So if you know the memory verse and you are coming to our four o'clock service, then you can say the memory verse as you come in the door and you can get a bag of sweets if you know the memory verse. But if you're not coming to the four o'clock, then you can send me a video and I will send you some sweets in the post. But this memory verse is very, very easy. And so I'm sure you're all going to learn it by Sunday so you can get those sweets when you walk in. So it will come up on the screen and let's say it together. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31. Shall we say that together again? Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31. Well, it is now time for a silly game, isn't it? And so let's head on over to the kitchen and see just what Josh and I get up to today. So, welcome Josh. Thank you. It is always a pleasure to be here in my own kitchen. Yes. <laughs> so today's a silly game. Then we have all of my university books. Oh, wow. Um, so. I was wondering, I've been wondering quite a, for quite a while what all these packages are that keep coming in the post. Mm, the books. Books. And then they have all of my post-it notes of all the important aspects of the page. So you don't write in a book, you put a post-it in them. So what we are doing today is we are following the leader. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will touch some books in a sequence. Yeah. And you then need to touch them in the same sequence. How hard can it be? That's not too bad. That's what we're going to see. Okay. So I'll do it and then you'll do it. How, wait, hang on. How do you know that you can recall the right sequence? Well, I don't. So then how will I know if I'm right? Because you might go like this. Yeah. Great. Okay. Okay. So cool. you have to remember, because you might suddenly go, no, but the camera has recorded yeah. it, so you know. So, okay. Excellent. Okay, Ooh. so I'm going to go. No. 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 I think it was that. No, I think it was this. I think it was that. I think that was it, yeah. Okay, fine, all right. Well, let's, try, let's, okay, grab the ground. Right, let's go again. You go. All right, it's my turn. Yeah. Well it's cool because each book has a sound as well. Yeah. <laughs> I know, this is a big book. I haven't read this one yet. Because okay. it has really small fonts. Yeah. Whereas... Uh, this one has really big font. Yeah. So I read that oh, one first. Well, anyway, well, it's your turn. Oh, my turn. Um, okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, your turn. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. So we're doing about six, which is obviously, that's your average amount of items you can remember in your short-term memory. Right. From my psychology classes back in the day, okay. like 10 years ago. So now we want I to make it bigger. Right? Yeah, yeah, right, so we're going to make bigger. Okay, so... We need to just get that game, Simon Says. You know that, you know the, the you know the game where like, it has like, Four different colours on it, and it would like boop, boop, boop. Well, yeah, but we haven't got that, so we're okay, making fine. it ourselves. Yeah, well, obviously, we're making it ourselves. Like, you know. Right. Uh... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me start again. Okay. Oh, my days! <laughs> Yo! Was that what it was? Yeah! Oh, it was. oh okay. Okay. You're a natural. Oof. Okay. Okay. We'll do one more each. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're done. Um.
I don't know where you start it. Okay. Something like that? Yeah, was it? Well done. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Good. Well, you guys go ahead and you need nine stations. Okay. Nine. Three by three. Three, six, nine. And see if you can follow the leader and let us know how many kind of sequences you can get up to. The number. The number so of touches. We that got, I one think... was a fairly easy because I just did that in a curl and went back again. Yeah, so that was... For an example, so that was 18, I think. Yeah. So... Yeah, so can you guys let us know easy. how many sequences you can get to and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. It's hard to believe that superheroes have only been around for about 100 years. It was in 1938 that kids first read the story of Superman. A year later, Batman was born, and then over the next 10 years, lots more caped and masked heroes have emerged from the pages of comic books. There's something about superheroes that still touches the kids in all of us, doesn't it? And there is a hero for just about everybody. There are heroes who are more than human, such as Superman, Wonder Woman, and the X-Men. There are heroes gifted with powers, some intentionally like the Green Lantern and Captain America, and some by accident like Spider-Man and the Hulk. And there are heroes who become super through their own ingenuity, like Batman, Ant-Man and Iron Man. Heroes come in all shapes, sizes, colours, some have masks, some have capes, some use technology and some are simply amazing or astonishing even uncanny. But there are some traits that nearly all superheroes share. And these traits are part of what makes them so super. And they are traits that can make us super too. The first thing we are going to talk about may surprise you. It's not the first thing you think about with superheroes. In fact, some of you may have never realised this about your favourite hero. Some of you may think your mums and dads put me up to telling you this because the first characteristic of being a hero is they listen to mum and dad. I know it sounds like I made it up, but it's the truth. Most superheroes are good listeners when it comes to their parents, or at least their parental figures, to those who look after them. Whether it is Clark Kent, the boy who became Superman, taking life lessons from his adopted mum and dad, or Peter Parker, taking advice from his Auntie May and Uncle Ben. Heroes have that mums and dads have a lot to teach them about being a good person and looking out for others. The Bible has the same advice for those who want to live for God. Honour your father and mother was the commandment number five given to us. And today, Paul reminds us in the book of Ephesians that we are to honour our parents. In Ephesians 6, verses 1 to 3. Clark Kent listened to his parents because he knew they were wise, even though they were human and didn't have his superpowers. Their wisdom was invaluable to him growing up and as an adult as well. God gave us parents to teach us wisdom. He gave us mums and dads to guide us on our journey from babies to adults. And if we are wise, we will continue listening to them well into our adult years. A wise superhero knows that mum and dad are always there for them. And when mum and dad speak, they always listen. Think about all the things that your mum and dad have taught you. Things you take for granted every day. Did you get out of bed this morning? Did you get yourself dressed? Did you feed yourself some breakfast? Did you talk to your family and friends before church? Brush your teeth? All these things our parents taught us how to do. Our parents are also responsible for teaching us about Jesus. This is why we're here today, to learn more about Jesus. More important than going to church, 
God wants our parents to show us how to love God. When we see our parents praying or reading the Bible and sharing their faith, it shows us how we too can live our faith too. Parents work hard to provide a home for their kids. They make more sacrifices than you will ever know to give you a good childhood and they want you to have a good education. Parents work very hard to teach their kids right and wrong so that they can grow into responsible adults. No wonder the creators of Spider-Man and Superman put so many emphasis on Clark Kent's parents. Good parents can help anybody grow up to be a superhero. Our parents are a gift from God. They give us love, wisdom and guidance that we will never forget. And if we want to be super, then we need to honour them and love them in return. Listening and following their instructions is one of the best ways to show them how much we appreciate them. And so today, as we remember that in order to be a superhero for God, we need to obey our mums and dads and really listen to all the wisdom that they can pour into us. Now, we are going to spend some time praying and praising God for our parents, because even your mums and dads have got parents and whoever is watching today has got a mum or a dad. And so I would love for you to grab a big bit of paper and maybe write the word parents or mum and dad on the piece of paper. And then in your family, think about all the things that your parents have done for you. Ask your parents what their parents have done for them. What was one of the greatest bits of advice that their parents ever gave them? And write down all of those things that your parents have taught you. Tying your shoes, riding a bike, maybe speaking a different language, maybe learning to speak English. Our parents have taught us so many things. And then when you finish writing all of those bits down, spend some time praising God, saying, God, thank you for putting these parents into my life. Thank you that they teach me how to love you and for all of the other things. So let's go ahead now, pause the video and spend some time praising God for your parents and come on back when you're ready. Well, I hope you have written down some really great things on your sheet there. I'm going to say a prayer for all of us today. And why don't you join in with me? Dear God, we thank you for all of our parents. We thank you that you have put us in their lives and you have put them into our lives. We thank you for all the things they have taught us. We thank you that they've taught us how to ride a bike and tie our shoes, brush our teeth to make new friends and to be the greatest person we can ever be. But God, today, would you help us to be a superhero for you? Would you help us to listen to what our mums and dads have to say so that we can learn more about you and more about your wisdom and your love for us? And God, would you give us, our parents, your wisdom too? Because we know being a parent can be really tricky sometimes. So God, we pray that you would make them the best parents that they can be and that you will enable them to teach us all the great things that we need to learn. Amen. Well, why don't we go ahead now and pause the video again and have some questions that will come up on the screen and let's talk them through or take a picture of them and save them for breakfast tomorrow morning, why not? So go ahead, pause the video and come on back when you're ready.
Well, I hope you've had some great time chatting and talking through with your parents or your siblings or whoever you are with today. Well, I think it is now time for our final song. So let's stand up and join in together. Well, it has been so great to be back with you today. I hope you've had a fabulous time with us in Kids Zone, playing our silly games and learning what it means to be a superhero for God. And over the next 10 weeks, we are going to be looking at 10 other characteristics that superheroes have in order to be the best superhero for God there is. And so number one is to listen to your mum and dad. And do join us next week on site four o'clock we would love to see you there as we look at what is our number two that makes us a good superhero for God and we'll see you next time bye